Right. Good morning. Time, now, Time to make some room in the closet for your fall and winter clothes. What should you keep? What should you buy? And what should you uh, eliminate from the old wardrobe? Erica Strama from the shops in Northbridge joins us with the latest trends. Uh, good morning. Good morning. This all morning. Not that I don't know the answers to all of these right. questions already. I'm just excited to share it with the people out I'm, there. See, I love that, Pat. Let's start with what we can keep. So, oh the very good news: a lot of the trends that we saw last fall are popular once again. Excellent. Starting with the ankle booty. So, I know mm -hmm. this is some, one of your favorites. Right, love the ankle. It's booties. about the chunky heel. The reason this is so popular: it's comfortable. These are $35 from Charming Charlie, and this example over here from Forever 21 around. $20. So you can do the trend. If you don't have it, you can buy it for under $30. Is it normal for the trends to stay the same from one year to the next? There's always a few yeah, that have good rewear value, okay. especially right. if they're comfortable. Also, the menswear flat. Every fall, there seems to be something that's menswear inspired. The round toe was big last year. This year, the update is the pointy toe. These are AGL from Nordstrom, Hinge also from Nordstrom, a variety of price points from under $100 to around $300. I'd like to see the leather pants. The pants. leather no, no, pants. I don't want to get rid of mine. Those were expensive. No, no. Anything leather. You can always keep this. Always a fall staple. These are around $20 from Forever 21. And then last year, we always talked about burgundy, this mm -hmm. Bordeaux color. Oh, Very big this year. These are all from Charming Charlie, less than $30. Oh, that was all right. So yes. keep all these. Now, the next column is the stuff is, that maybe you want to eliminate from the yes. wardrobe. The, this is the stuff you might want to consider retiring. The colored jean. The last couple of seasons, this was huge. We want to toss this aside. It's about deeper, richer tones. And then this huge plastic. Platform. I don't think any woman is going to be too upset. Yeah. These are a little bit difficult to wear, kind of I gotta tell you, maybe not for the lady in my in my life, but I wouldn't mind a pair of these uh, the, bad the boys right here. The smoking slippers with yeah. a little bejeweled detail, so you can take these, Pat. Okay. And then we'll retire these for the girls. And then the sequins in daytime, the t-shirts, the sweatshirts yeah. with all the sparkle. I love it for evening Still and a dress. For evening too. But yeah. but this overall, this is this is looking a little last year. Okay. All right. Was that it? Did we cover that whole oh, section? Oh, actually, nail, nail, nail art. art. Yeah, yeah. Nail art. So I think we can hopefully all agree this is seen its day. Enough of that. So moving on to what we should buy. New stuff. New stuff. Always fun. From Sephora, the newest trend in nail polish is a matte finish. So you can do any of these colors. It's not really about the color this year. It's more about the texture. These are $12.50 from Sephora. And then lipstick. The easiest way to update your look for fall is a deep, rich tone. These are all from Sephora. Which color is your favorite? You like this one? You know, I gotta tell you, I'm not a big lipstick fan. So what I want to like show is it's not lip. as you know intimidating I mean? as it looks in the packaging. And in the 90s, we all remember the grunge, yeah. very big. Do but look ever. at the update here. This is Missoni and Converse together. Super mm -hmm. cute. Around $100 from Nordstrom. The envelope clutch, much larger than the typical clutch. You can wear this in daytime, $59. And then get a load of this, pastels, a very big trend for fall. Yeah. You don't always think that. It kind of feels a little bit more spring in terms of color. Color, but it's all about the texture. If you're doing leather or something a little chunky, and then finally the florals into fall in a very athletic-inspired sweatshirt. Another big trend. I do like this because biker jackets scream tough. You know, when they you make do. them in lavender, then you really look like you're it's, ready it's, to it's for a, a fight. It's a good combo of yeah. feminine and kind of tough all together. All right, and the scarf. Did we get to the scarf? Right we here? did not talk about the scarf, but that kind of goes scarf. into the whole grunge period. Yeah. that's having that moment right now. Plaids and high top sneakers. Yeah, the good old days. Yes. Grunge period. Little Pearl Jam, some Nirvana. High yep. school, you know high, what I mean? It was my high school. Not anymore. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. Good to see you, you again. Really knows his trends, oh, doesn't he? Yeah.